Hey, what's up, guys? I have a large format printer, Muto Vitojet 1304, but recently, since I have replaced the new internet service and the router, then I cannot find my printer anymore. So I called my service guy, and he told me I need to change the configuration of the IP address on the computer and do the corresponding change on the printer and um, Vitojet printing management on the computer as well. Actually, this is a very simple process. First, you go to the Windows search and look for the command prompt. And then you will see a pop-up black window of the command prompt. And in there, you just type in IP config and then hit return. Then we'll see a bunch of new numbers. The first one is the IP address. The second one is the subnet mask. And the third one is the, some kind of a gateway. This IP address you see on here stands for the older IP address that has been disabled by the new router's installation. So what I should do is to alter the last digit from 7 to something else. So in the end, I tried 90 to replace 7, and it looks like it is working. I need to install it into the printer and the printer's manage software. And on the screen, it shows that I have already changed them, but I just want to show you uh, I see if that I'm changing it right now. So once this is changed, you need to go to the control panel on the Vitojet 1304. First, you hit the menu button and hit the right arrow button. And then you toggle with the up and down uh, arrow buttons and to see the IP address. Then once you see the IP address, you hit the enter button you will see the corresponding IP address number. So in since I have already changed it to 90 from 7, so you only see the 90 now. You can use the uh, arrow key and change it to 90. You just hit the Enter button first and then Cancel button twice. And you'll need to toggle those buttons to see if the subnet and the gateway numbers are corresponding to the uh, to the numbers you just saw on the computer screen. So once all this is done, you just hit the Enter button first and then Cancel button twice. Then this is the time that you can just try your printing. And then you will see the data receiving light is on. And that means that it's um, receiving the data now and you feel the fender is um, heating up. Then that means you are probably ready to go. I'm John Kong from JK Graphics in Los Angeles. Thank you for watching.